Hello and welcome, Sunyan here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to find a protagonist of a book using some Python text analysis and the book I'm talking about would be one of these basically a book from Project Gutenberg um, it has like a bunch of bad licenses and stuff but essentially Project Gutenberg allows you access to most of the classics of the Western world in text file form which is perfect for text analysis now the story of this goes back a little bit i in july did a um, conference presentation you know educational conferences um for some text analysis in python which is essentially basic text analysis functions since then i've been messing around with this thing called text blob now text blob is built on top of nltk and that is a sentiment analysis module but it has some other useful handy things like um right here actually i'm going to show you this program generates the top 10 proper nouns proper nouns are like essentially capitalized words that are names of people or places so just to show you this part here like imports text blob and reads a book finds the start at the end of the book reads all of it into a string um clears out all the punctuation helps out with the text analysis then turns it into a blob now this is cool we can turn this blob into a dictionary of proper noun counters therefore like if you have a book where the word uh, harry repeats 149 times it'd be like harry dictionary like the harry's the key and the value is 149 and then it'll be hermione and then ron or whatever order of the book now you don't have to do much to, to to turn that into a top 10 you use a sorted function to uh create a ranked list and then you print out the top 10 in those ranked lists you print out the keys and the values and you print it you print that i run it like here and the whole thing takes about a minute um to run so you're gonna see um essentially the top 10 words in this book not just the top 10 words top 10 capitalized words so you know the top 10 words would be the and they i don't know but this is just going to be top 10 capitalized words and they're also sorted by probably a couple other criteria for example common words in the english language at the start of a sentence that are capitalized are ignored so i'm gonna sit here Oh, there it is. See, Alexander, 419. So you already know, like, Alexander, Darius, Phillips, Greece, Parmenio, Persians, Macedonian, Asia. That's kind of what the book is about. So now comes the tricky bit. How do I figure out which ones of these are places and which ones are people? So check this out um so here we do the same thing we import string functions text blob etc so here i actually this program that you just saw i packed that in a function that generates top 10 um words in a book and i use that here so in this program we use something called uh tags now tags blob.tags takes this entire book and every word is categorized with a tag now those tags are from nltk and you're gonna see like cr cordinal conjunction dextimeter x but here's the easy bit verbs so i just figured if any one of these words is followed by a verb often it's probably a person like you will never see verbs following cities very often like you could say melbourne went dark but i mean it's not like melbourne thought melbourne walked melbourne brought melbourne like you know those things don't happen like it's it's people it is characters that have verbs following so that is the trick that i used essentially 
I took those top 10 uh, proper nouns and I made this list that's like a list of verbs and I essentially here say if for each word in top 10 if it is followed by a verb then increase the count so if you know the number of times the the the, the word occurs um, is right here and that's the count how many times it's followed by the verb well if it's followed by the verb more than like 30 percent of the time then then it's a person so if i run this does it say text analysis functions questions not top 10 properly you gotta run this one protagonist i better stop that last thing so when i run this you're going to see a short list basically everything that's not followed by a verb at least a third of the time is going to get eliminated and what we're hopefully going to be left with is um, people and ranked in order so even like if the second word was Alexander's Alexander's is not going to be followed by a verb very often like Alexander's going no that won't work so it'll be followed by a noun so essentially you're going to get like the proper name of a character um, for each one of the candidates so that's those are the top 10 printed right here and then you're gonna see like a short list of which ones can be people it'd be funny if it didn't work now like in an official video and there you go look at what was eliminated alexander's which is sort of like a possessive it's not the name of a character greece was eliminated macedon was eliminated persians were eliminated macedonian and asia so we have, all we have left is Alexander, Darius, Philips, Parmenio. Oh, Persians snuck in. Ah, Persians, that is a, you can, because they would, that is a, a plural. It's kind of like a person, I suppose. It, it's an actor. It's a, it's a protagonist of sorts. So there you have it. That is the protagonist of the book. That is the second most important person in the book. So and it's it's done with not very much code i mean these are all the lines right here we got 25 plus the function from this page which is like another five very very powerful text analysis and sentiment analysis modules so look up text blob and i will see you guys later this in a few weeks is going to be a udemy course so links for that are going to be down below but for now take care and see you later